Hi! In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a program that will ask the user for the address of a folder. It will then list all the files in that folder and ask the user what type of file the user wants to delete. Finally, it will delete all the files of that type in that folder. Let me demonstrate. Over here, I have the code to my program. I will run this. Here, they asked me to type the address of the folder containing the files you want to delete. Over here in C disk, I have this folder named My Data. In here, you can see I have a shortcut. And in these folders, I have more shortcuts. We use shortcuts to help us along the way. But when we are done with our project, we might want to get rid of all these shortcuts because they make things a bit ugly. It will take a long time to go through all the folders to delete all the shortcuts. But with this program, I'll first type the address of that folder, my data. That's the folder name, and it's in C disk. Here, they list all the files in my data. Right now, I want to delete all the shortcuts. And over here, they tell us the extension is dot lnk. So, dot lnk. I press enter. Files deleted. Let's have a look. As you can see here, the shortcut is gone. And so are the shortcuts in these folders. So everything's nice and neat. Now, let's jump into how to create the program. First, we define a function and we call it location. We assign this input statement to it and it will take input from the user. It will ask the user for the location of the, of the folder. Now, using this for loop, for root dir's files in os.walk location, what is going on here? You can see here we imported os, and it, we have this function called walk for os. If we, if we return this, we will get a list of of the root dirs and files of this location let me demonstrate i'll create a new file i import os if i print OS dot walk and in here I will put the location of that folder C colon slash slash my data and Let me first turn this into a list because otherwise they will just give me the something a equals to e for e in os dot walk. Now, if I print a, 
I run this. And I have to save this. Over here, we get these tuples. The first tuple, in the first tuple, my data is the root. And birthdays, classes, meetings, and tutors are the directories. So we have this list. And then this empty list is the files since we have no files in my data. In the next tuple, over here, the root is not my data anymore. The root is, you can see in this string, now the root is my data slash birthdays. The files in birthdays, I mean the directories in birthdays, are these. And there are no files in birthdays. The third root is my data slash birthdays slash April. And as you can see here, April is empty. We have no directories and no files. Then we have my data slash birthdays slash February. And no files and no, no directories and no files. So these are, these are all the files in birthdays and they are all empty. So now, now let's go to my data slash meetings. Over here, we have no directories, but we have all these files. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then in this next tuple, we have, we have this root that is my data slash tutors. We have this we have this directory called data and no files. And finally, we have this tuple where the root is my, my data slash tutor slash data. And we have no files, no directories, and no files in it. So that is os.walk. It will, it will list, first list all the, 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 the roots, then the directories, and then the files. So for root directory files in os.walk location, and over here we define the location. For every file in files, here we have the files. For every file in file, we print that file. So it will list all the files in that folder without the directories. Now we define another variable called ext which stands for extension. We assign this input statement to it that asks the user for the extension. So type the file's extension like .txt. Now we use this walk function again for root directories files in os.walk location. And then for every file in files, so files is the list of all the files in the folder. If file dot ends with ext, this dot ends with is a built-in function that says if the string ends with what we what the string in here, we define another variable path equals os dot path dot join root file os.path.join will simply join two join two addresses so it's this basically means that we are joining root and file so it's like root plus this slash plus that file. So we can use this os.path.join to do this for us. We don't have to type all these. So just remove this. 
OS dot remove remove path. OS dot remove will simply remove a file. It's really easy. We can we can type in the name of the file if it's in the current folder, but if it's in somewhere else, we have to type in the path of the file. Finally, it will print files deleted. I hope you understand. I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. If you have any questions, we can discuss it. You can contact me. This is the end of this tutorial. I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.